Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Elsek. We will continue the series of web hacking, and now we have SQL injection vulnerability allowing logging bypass. So I started the lab, and we have kind of a web shop with a lot of items, and we have two pages being home, which is the shop itself, and we have my account. So I start with the web description, which is the lab contains SQL and SQL injection vulnerability in the login function. To solve the app perform a SQL injection attack that walks into the application as the administrator user. So let's copy the user and go to login. Let's try administrator 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 admin. Always take note and try default credentials, root, nimda, and so on. So we can see that we cannot log in using the default creds. So now it's time to try with some SQL injection. So let's try to specify the, admin, the, the administrator, single code, and then just two dashes for a command. And we cover that in the pivot video. If you haven't saw it and you are a complete beginner because it's dedicated for beginners, you can see on the top right corner. And by typing anything in the password field, we should get locked in. And we did. We solved the lab. So now let's take a time to explain what's actually going on. So I'm going to open up my terminal and type in query. We have a leftover from somewhere, maybe from the previous video. So let's delete it. And now let's imagine that upon logging in, the front end application actually gets, let me just go to account. So the front end is designed to actually get all these virus there. And if we go to F12 and network, then type something. We can see that a post request being made and that post request itself consists of username, password and CSRF. Of course, we can see that data using per suite. Yeah, but now it can be visible with the Firefox itself. So the request itself get the virus from the username and password sends to the backend and backend itself sends a request to a database to check if there's the user with the following password. So we can see that the password is a pure text and database is being hashed. So all the logic is being done in the backend. But generally what's happened is that we are trying to select user, select all from user where username equals to administrator and password equals to something. So the power syntax is not 100% correct, but I'm not that good uh, database administrator. So yeah, forgive me. And what happens now if when we type, for example, if the password for administrator is something, this query is going to run, it's going to select the exact user and it's going to return it to the backend. The backend is going to form an object and that object is going to be returned to us. And what happens when we specify a quote in our payload? So we specify that thing, administrator and comments. So the query be, uh, starts to look in something like that. Select all from user where username equals administrator and password equals to something. So as you can see here, we modified the query itself and we are selecting from users where username equals to administrator and that's it. And I have a mistake here because I actually need to specify the original quote after the comment. So it's getting ignored. So all the thing, all the payload I'm marking right now is going to get ignored from the backend application. So it's going to use only that query. So the backend is going to query the database for all users where username is equal to admin. And that way we are able to bypass the whole password thing because it does not check for password whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed and it was something new. If that's the case, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'm going to see you in the next one.